We didn't want to rush out a new video about the bubble pricing announcement on April 6th, so we've waited until the new week, and we think that one of the best ways of uh, looking into uh, workload units is to use an example of um, a side project I've been working on. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's dive into it. First of all, um, this is the side project. Uh, it's basically just a uh, something that I wanted to build uh, to experiment with OpenAI when uh, we first got GPT 3.5 out um, um, about a few weeks ago. Uh, and so this is how it works. I can uh, search for a book, uh, so I can search for uh, Harry Potter, and uh, I can click on the book title. And now um, it's making a request uh, to OpenAI for OpenAI to recommend three books that I would like because they are similar to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, I'm going to, once I've demonstrated the app, I'm going to go and demonstrate, uh, well, display to you each of the steps that is taken in the workflow. And then we'll look at the workflow um, workload units that are used. Um, now, I've not read Percy Jackson, but I've seen the film. I think that these are all very similar. Uh, yeah, so OpenAI has done a good job here. Um, how did it do it? Uh, well, if I dive into the Bubble app uh, and just go back to normal Zoom, um, we can see here, uh, this is today, and um, the workload usage uh, metrics here are taking a little bit of time to update. I really hope that they fix that because otherwise, how on earth are we gonna know um, how much uh, a particular feature or sub-feature in that app takes? Anyway, this is uh, one that I did earlier, very similar call. So we have uh, 204 workload units. Um, and so what makes up that 204 number? Well, this is what happens uh, when a user uh, clicks on a book. I make the API call to OpenAI. I supply the title and the author. I then have a method here called user stats. This has enabled me to track um, whether the same user uh, uses the app more than once. Um, and I make changes to that. Uh, I then uh, set the slug uh, for the results page where I display my three books. I then create a new book. Um, and there are a number of different ways I could have done this, but I've just approached this as using split by uh, to effectively pass the data into this is my first book recommended, this is my second book, and this is my third book. I then save those books back into uh, what I've called save search, which is uh, a data type in Bubble. Uh, I send a um, a event notification to Logsnag. I'm gonna have a video coming out about Logsnag soon. Uh, it's a very simple way of tracking user events in your app. And then I send the user to the book recommendation page. Um, so remember, all of that takes 204 workload units. Um, and so I've, I've got a quick uh, calculator here. So if a single call to OpenAI with all of those additional um, elements into the workflow, such as uh, tracking the user, saving the results, passing the results into uh, three new entries in my book database, um, 204, there we go. Uh, okay, so if I have the starter plan, then I'm entitled to uh, 1, 000, uh, sorry, 175 uh thousand uh, workload units. Um, so by doing a little bit of very simple uh, formula work in this Google Sheet, um, that's how many workflows that, you know, basically how many times a user can try and discover a new book using my service a month, um, leaving me with 28. Um, and remember, there will be diff there will be additional ways that um, workload uh, units will be accumulated, such as if a user refreshes the page, such as if they um, were to try and initiate the OpenAI call, but something was to fail. It's all going to add up. But I'm looking at about 28 uses a day. Uh, and I'm not quite sure what to think of that on the starter plan, um, bearing in mind that I wouldn't be able to launch the app on my own domain unless I was on the starter plan. Uh, maybe 28 per day is okay. Like I said, this is just, it was an app that I built out of my own curiosity. I'm not really looking uh, to kind of take it mainstream or anything. Um, but yeah, 28 units. Now, where this, uh, sorry, not 28 units, 28 times it could run per day. Now, where this gets interesting is in the course of building this app, uh, before we knew about workload units, I built this about a month or two ago, um, I would have been testing it. 
And I had to test this so much in order to be able to pass the data for individual books to get that formatting from OpenAI to enable me to take a, a, like a plain text expression from OpenAI and turn that into three separate books. Um, so if I was on the free plan when I was testing it, I'm taking this right the way down to 25,000. And then, yes, I'm not going to work on this every single day of the month, all 30 days or so, but I'm left with this what feels like a pitifully small number of basically being able to run, uh, the, testing my very simple app that uses OpenAI, I'm limited to four times a day. And I think this just begins to highlight um, what I think is a, a reflective um, and genuine response from the Bubble App developer community that, that once the initial shock and, and the anger and maybe the fear for people's livelihoods has gone, um, we're left with, uh, with some plans and some measurements of capacity, the workload unit, which simply does not work, which is simply so limiting or is going to cause people's monthly fees to just explode uh, and become huge numbers. Uh, I really hope that bubble sorts this out. As the time of recording, this is um, it's, well, it's April the 10th, so a few days have passed since the announcement. Uh, the forum posts around are blown up. There does seem to be some, uh, obviously, yeah, very angry people, but also people who are, who are just concerned about their livelihoods. And... Um, I flip-flopped from being optimistic to pessimistic and back back and forth um, about these new pricing announcements. And I think ultimately they're out of my hands uh, and um, I have to uh, try and extend the, the goodwill um, to the bubble team uh, that they've accumulated over the years. Um, and uh, to to kind of, it sounds a little bit cheesy, but, but to trust that um, they really are what they say they're doing, which is they've read through the, these forum posts, yeah, you know, the hundreds and hundreds of comments based on pricing, all the discussion that's taken place. Uh, and I'm really, I'm trying to be optimistic about uh, an announcement which they've said will come later in this week uh, about um, ensuring that users are not priced out of building the apps that they are already running uh, or are already developing. Um, so there we have it. That's um, I've, I've tried not to be uh, too too much on the attack or, or too negative, um, but I thought it just helped to run through a, a simple side project that I've built. This novel idea, book recommendation using OpenAI, show you the steps um, and uh, explain why I'm, I think they have to change something about the workload units, uh, how they're measured and the uh, simply the quantity uh, that you'll get with each of the packages. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any video suggestions for us. We leave, we, uh, we read every single one. Uh, if you want any bubble one-to-one uh, -one coaching, uh, you can do that through our website, uh, planetnocode.com.